Welcome and welcome back. So today I am at the Value Village and I'm here to see if I can find any vintage items to resell in my Etsy shop, Fifth Avenue Vintage Co. or possibly keep for myself. So let's go on in and check it out. I'm over in the figurines and knickknacks. I found this piece of Blue Mountain pottery. $2.99. Minnesota. There's an abalone shell. $3.99. There's a flamingo planter. I feel like I've sold this exact one. It is $5.99. $15 decor. Hmm. I wonder if that was in somebody's booth. I'll put it in the cart and I'll see if it's worth picking up for six dollars. Just spotted a poodle with some fur. I think she would have had something right there. How much do they want for her? Hmm. No price on her. We'll see what they're gonna give her to me for. a bird planter six dollars yeah somebody must have closed up their booth or something i don't know i'll put it in my cart again i'm not sure if it's worth six dollars and i do have several of these already listed so we shall see this looks like treasure craft Got quite a bit of wear on it. Six dollars for that. Five ninety nine. It's a pencil holder. It's got some chipping on it. Oh look, we have any other skunk on a bowling trophy. Look, we've got another flamingo planter, six dollars. Just spotted a globe. Amsterdam, the Netherlands. It was $39.99 at one time. It's really nice. $15 though. I'm going to put it in my cart and look it up. Oh, it's never mind. It's ripped. It's a really nice box. $5.49. It's got, looks like a Celtic knot of some sort. it in the cart and look it up. It's a butterfly napkin holder. It's cute. Made in Japan. Kind of looks like Hoselton, but 
the bottom is covered up, so I don't know for sure if it is. I'll put it in the cart and check it out later. This is kind of interesting. Oh, the design is in the glass. $3.99. Hmm. I'll put that in the cart and have a look at it later. Some Talavera. Three ninety nine. Yes, you can buy it yes until tomorrow. That in the cart. Four ninety nine, made in Portugal. Red clay pottery. Hmm, that's nice. Over in the candle holder section, it says collectibles, but it's mostly candle holders. Lemon and eucalyptus. Hmm, it smells okay. So I just picked this piece up. It is gal galleon ware, made in Canada. Really nice dish for $5.99. So I'm gonna grab that. And I still have to look these other pieces up. I'm not sure if I'm going to take all those, but it's insanely busy in here, so it's really hard to record the shelves. I'm just going through the coffee mugs now. I'm not really seeing too much I gotta have though. There's a new cart. Some nice decanters. That's pretty. Just spotted a bag of art glass fish for $7.99. I had to find a quiet place to show you all the items that I am going to take home and what I'm going to put back. So I'm going to take this piece. It is Czechoslovakia glass. It does have a tiny flaw right there, but I think that's okay for $3.99. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab this Portugal um, planter for $4.99. This um, Celtic knotted solid wood box for $5.49 and this Blue Mountain Pottery piece for $2.99 and this Talavera pitcher for $3.99. I did find a Bath & Body Works candle brand new so I'm going to pick that up for $6.99 and I don't know how much they are going to charge me for this poodle. It would have had a chain with some babies so if the price is right I will still take it. I'm going to put this piece back because I do have quite a few of these already listed. This piece has got some glue attached to it and I think I'm just going to put that one back. I am going to put these back as well. I found a crack on this one and I think $5.99 is a bit much for that. And then I'm also going to put this back because it is not in the best condition. Not super great quality. It's kind of rickety, falling apart. And I'm also going to grab this bag of art glass fish. As long as there's no chips or cracks in them, I have to look at them a little bit closer. But $7.99 for those. There's three of them. And then this piece of galleonware for... 
and I am going to put, I don't want this to fall out here. <laughs> Let's just carefully set that down there. I'm going to put this piece back. It would have had two other sailboats with it, graduated sizes. So I think I'm going to put it back. It is not, I don't believe it is. Holliston, I think it's Holliston. I think that's how you say it, or Holzelton, Holzelton. It just doesn't have the right weight. It's quite lightweight, so I don't think it is from that company. So I'm gonna put that back. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. All right, I put those items back, and when I put back the sailboat, I found this beautiful shell, brass shell piece for $7.49. So I'm going to grab that, and now I'm just over in the jewelry. I'm going to have a quick look at the jewelry. I'm not seeing anything really worth picking up here in the jewelry. Too much over here today. These are kind of pretty. Well, this piece is interesting. It's just plastic. It's got an interesting look to it. It's got a barrel clasp, so it looks like it could be vintage. I just really like the design. How much is it? Four ninety-nine. Hmm. I might grab that. So I'm just having a quick look through the blankets. I'm not really seeing much here. This looks like a handmade quilt. Cute with the flamingos and koalas and fairies on it. <laughs> and mermaids. That's pretty sweet. It's handmade. I don't know how much do they want for it. I do not know. I do not see a price. There is no price. It's free. Hmm. I don't know. My total was $37 and some change. I did have a 20% off coupon, so I saved a little bit of money and I found a few pretty good vintage items today. So that is everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.